you Tubies and Tubeds, Spexy here. Welcome back to Retro Specs. Now, you may remember the last video in which I showed you the clifftop base over there and the jump star, which is sitting here. My lovely little frog. Oh, yes, there he is. Eh, isn't he a beauty? Um, well, inspired by this frog, I decided why not try to create one that can be used with vanilla parts so i.e you can use it without having to have the grego mod now it was quite a challenge because without the grego mod of course the thrusters are a lot bigger so therefore the frog had to be a lot bulkier but i did create something and i want to show you guys exactly what i did so while we leave spudsy hopping around crazy over there i'm going to load another world where i have created just what i said a frog that can be used by anyone with out the mod and I will show it to you in a second okay then guys so here it is this is what I am calling the bouncer matic 3000 oh yes it's a little bit bigger than the other one of course like I said before it is using the ordinary vanilla original thrusters that come with scrap mechanic as you can see there are quite a few connected here so it's got the sensor again that will point down when i press the one key but it also has let's have a look at these i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i think it's got 14 thrusters all together so this thing is a little bit more powerful than the last one and it has to be because of the size of it the two on the back there are set at just a little bit lower than the others because i was getting balance issues when they are all set to full so let's see how this thing rides and here we go. So if I press the one key, there we go, and off it goes. Oh, it, oh, 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 tree spuds, are you sure? <laughs> okay, let's get around that thing. And it bounces quite well. I mean, it's very comparable to the last one, although a hell of a lot heavier. But it does kind of work in a similar fashion. The tongue is flopping fantastically there from left to right. A kind of wacky look on his face. Um, a fantastic way to fly around. What a way to travel around your scrap world and hit trees. But it doesn't seem to matter whether you're driving cars, flying planes, or riding around on giant robotic frogs. You still manage to hit trees no matter what. Let's see if we can get through here without hitting any trees. Uh, obviously not, uh, but close, very close. Let's try again. And we can get this thing back onto the landing pad and see how well this thing controls. So what I've found is if you, you're in the air, you turn it as you land and you aim in the direction that you want to go for. So you turn it just before you land and you land in the direction you want to go in and then it will jump in that direction. So as you see, it kind of travels around quite well. I mean, it's very controllable. Should be able to get this back on the pad, no issues. Let's have a look if we can do that. And nearly there, but just a little bit more. Oh, you go on, go on, you can get on there. There we go. And if I press the one key and turn that off, there we are. So there it is. That is the Bouncermatic 3000. Doesn't turn around on the suspension glitch steering quite as well as the other one because it is a lot heavier. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I think it's pretty good. If I jump in the air, you'll see that it does turn around a hell of a lot easier when it's in the air and there is no friction and no weight to worry about. But on the floor, not so much luck. It doesn't really want to steer. So there you go. That is it. That is about Somatic 3000. But then I thought, well, that's good. That's pretty good. But I think I can do better than that. What about if I was to use the Grego mod again, but in a frog this size? So I saved this world and then uploaded it again and then altered it and tinkered it and brought the size down and created something else using the Grego mods, because I thought I can fit a lot more thrusters on this, I can get this a lot more powerful. And that's exactly what I did. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to a yet another map and show you what I have created. And here it is. This I'm nicknaming the Hoppertron Mark 1. So we had the Jumpstar, we had the Bouncermatic 3000, and now we have the Hoppertron Mark 1. I painted this one orange on the top and a little white underbelly. I think he looks quite cute. Again, he's got the big tongue and the staring eyes. Um, but let's see how he fares. So this one, if I show you the little web on him, has a little bit more going on, but he has the thrusters from the Grego mod. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that it? Nine? One, two, three, four. Yeah, nine thrusters is all it has. And let me show you how this works. So with just nine thrusters, same process. And there you go. He bounces around in a similar manner to the other one. A little bit faster going forward, I think, because he's lighter weight. Uh, because of the thrusters don't weigh as much, he bounces around like crazy. So, same sort of design. Similar thing. Just lighter weight. And he looks more like a frog without all those thrusters kicking all over him. So, he does look a lot more like a frog. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. I think it worked quite well. But you do need the Grego mod to play this one. And like I say, if you haven't got it, uh, go and visit Grego's a YouTube page. There is a download link on there. It's a fantastic mod. It does allow you to do quite a lot of fancy stuff. And if I just stop this, I'll just show you briefly a couple of the things you get with the Grego mod. So you get uh, these light flat blocks, ultra light, medium and heavyweight flat blocks. So they've got no textures at all. So they're like a plastic look, which is very good and uh, works quite well. I use it for the landing strip on my clifftop base. So it has no textures at all. Uh, you also get the... Where are they? Oh, it was up here. Glass is like that in a normal scrap mechanic, but you get this glass. And I have to show you this one because this is fantastic. I was waiting for glass like this for so long. Um, and thanks to the Grego mod, we have it. So this glass, if I place it, you will see has no texture. It's completely, completely clear glass. You can paint it. I say it's not completely clear. It's got a tint to it, but you can paint it. It looks quite better with a little bit of a tint. Let's paint it, let's paint it black. Paint it black. Eh? Classic tune there. And there you go. A little bit of a tint there. Fantastic. It is. Uh, it's just the most awesome thing. I mean, I, I could. I was waiting for them to do this in the official game. Obviously, they haven't. Or at least they haven't yet. So that's fantastic. And also, you get. Let me show you. You also get the mini thrusters as I said they're there and all these parts here and I'm not going to show you what they do on this video and um, they have a design with them on another one you may have seen diesel designs Lanyot, which used a few of these parts to make it so you get some very long sort of slopes uh, slope parts which are very very good and then you get the wedge corners which I was waiting for again for them to release, release for official they haven't um, and then the small thruster which only appears as being a block I'll show you that it just appears to be like a black block um, where are we? There we are. But it is indeed a thruster. If I was to connect that up, um, it just thrusts out uh, like a normal thruster. It has the same power, I think, as a normal thruster. Uh, we also then have the bigger wheels. Now, these are amazing. You've got the big wheels, size 2 and size 3. And you have hubcaps and you have the train wheels. So you may have seen some videos with trains. I think Gregor himself had some. Uh, other people have done them. Uh, where you've got train tracks and using the train wheels to drive on them. It's very, very, very good mod. And like I say, he regularly updates it, a scrap mechanic update, so you can use this mod. Um, I haven't had any issues with it so far. Like I say, you get an update, he updates, you download the new one, install it, simple instructions to follow on his page. Give it a go if you want to create something a little bit out there, a little bit different, because all these parts are fantastic. But let me just show you these wheels. So you see the size of that thing. That's the big wheel. And we have a smaller one, which is, oh, I can get it up there, that size. So then compared to the normal wheels, let's have a look. So the normal wheels, as you obviously know, this one and this one uh, are only that size. And TD, that size. But the hubcaps, like I say, they work. Let's have a look at these. So we have medium and small. Let's put a medium one on. Let's put a small one on. And let's give those a, a bash. So let's go on there. Uh, that hubcap for that. It's not really for that, I don't think, but it works. Uh, yeah, it is for that. And that one is for that one. So you can put hubcaps on your vehicles, make them look all fancy and dandy. That is fantastic. I love it. I think it's a fantastic mod. I intend to make a lot more using it. So that just briefly show you there what you can get with the Grego mod. Let's have another little quick bash on this. And then I've got a little experiment I want to do because I know this being so small, uh, the thrusters being so small, I can add more to this. I think we can get this guy to jump a lot higher than this. So let's have a little go at it. If I turn him off, oh, don't you dare turn him off. Okay, turn him off. 
jump off him for a second. So I think we can add some thrusters on the back here. Let me get rid of all this crap out of here that I've got in my hotbar. I don't need it. What I do want is the thrusters. So if I was to add some more thrusts to this, so where would I start? I'd probably put them here, 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 and here. Uh, add them in. And there, 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 and there. Change the power to full. Go that one, that one. We've got this one here and this one here, and then we need to connect them to the sensor. Hopefully, without disconnecting anything else, because there's so much going on with this spider web, it's sometimes tricky. Okay, I think that's it. They're connected. Let's jump in the driver's seat and try this. Then it's got a little bit more. Oh, yeah, a definitely got a little bit more. It goes a little bit faster. Yep, it ne needs more lift as well, though. I think I'm gonna have a tinker with it. I'm gonna come back on when I've done and let's see what we can get this bad boy to do well I said I was gonna have a tinker and tinker I did and what I came up with is this the Hoppertron Mark II codename Superfrog um, this <laughs> it looks kinda crazy if I put the spider web on this thing it is nuts I think there is about 46 thrusters on this uh, and they're all set on full. Uh, so this is crazy. I haven't seen what it does yet. I'm pretty certain it's going to go nuts. Um, everything else pretty much the same. I've painted him green this time. And of course I've put the Superman top on him. Uh, he looks like he's been working out though. His muscles there. That's where I've hidden some extra thrusters. Uh, so he has quite a lot of power here. So let's get in him. And let's see how this thing works in comparison to the last one. So this is it. This is the Super Frog. Let's see how he goes. Let's press the one key and Spudsy, hold on. Uh, oops. It seems he was a little bit too powerful for the world. Bug splat. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. And there he goes. Um, bye! Oops. It seems he is gone off into the distance. Uh, that kind of went a little bit wrong. Uh, I Because I turned it on when the game crashed and then loaded the game back up, the sensor was still pointing downwards and he has bounced off into infinity and beyond and I don't know where he's gone. Can't wait to get on this thing. Uh, let's have a look. So here he is. Yeah, well, that's definitely him with all that. Ah, ha, ha. He hit a tree. But see, it's not just you. These things hit trees without you. That's fantastic to know, isn't it? Okay, so let's put this down over here. I really want to face the border. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll do it for now. Oh, I can turn him around a little bit. We'll aim him down that way. And then let's see. Don't crash. Game, don't crash. Oh. Oh, that definitely jumps. That definitely jumps. Oh, yes, I think you're wearing the right outfit. You are definitely a super frog. You're going to hit the wall, you hit the wall. No, you're just about going to land in there. Let's see. I want to get one that goes forward. That definitely did. Oh, my God. This thing is crazy. Uh, probably a little bit uncontrollable. Uh, you couldn't get exactly where you want to get with this. I'm going to try I'm actually going to put it to the test. I'm going to try and get to the top of that mountain. If I can do that then uh, I think I will take back anything I've said about this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it. Turn it off. Oh my god. We almost got there. That is awesome. Wow! Wee! What a creation! That is fantastic! I'm gonna go. Bang. Oh! Oops! Uh, I don't know about bug splat, but we got frog splat. Um, he's stuck! Can't wheel him out, can't wheel him out. There we go, there we go. Woohoo! Oh my lord! This thing is crazy! Oh, fantastic! I, I can't believe that. That is absolutely awesome. Oh! Well, on that note, I am going to say, if you like this video, why not spank the hell out of that thumbs up button? And don't forget to subscribe for more retrospects. And until next time, 
I'm going to say to you, see you soon. Bye for now.